is Iris Mackler. She joins me now. Iris, just tell us a bit more about what happened today and why that visit was so controversial. The visit was controversial because of where it is. This site is the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, the third holiest site for Muslims. It's also the Temple Mount, the site where the temple was previously before its destruction. That's what Jews call it. That's why it's holy uh, to Jews. And there is a, um, I guess you'd call it an order for how things are done. Uh, and under that order, uh, Jews can visit, but don't pray. And what we see with Itamar ben who is a, a hardline, far-right new minister, is that he's part of the very small number of, of Jews at the moment who want to return to Jewish prayer. So that's something that he wants to change. He has said that the um, that this area, the Temple Mount, as he calls it, the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, should be open to Jews. And he does go there, despite the fact that it is a breach of this order. And by the way, two leading rabbis today have called on him not to do this, because it's also a breach of this um, Jewish rabbinic prohibition on Jews going up there. So it's very fraught, it's very tense, and it's the heart of this conflict. And Iris, given some of the reaction today from places like the White House and indeed from the government here in Paris, it's clear this is becoming an issue of international concern, isn't it? That's right. It is an in issue of international concern because people outside as well as inside realise how very combustible this area is, how important it is and how sensitive it is. And that's why we've heard from um, Washington, from London, from Paris, uh, from various Arab countries, including the Arab nations who have made peace deals with Israel, all saying that the status quo agreement, the agreement which preserves the freedom of worship and the rules on the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound should be preserved and not threatened. And as you um, suggest, um, Ben Gavir is a controversial figure. Just tell us a bit about some of the things he said in the past and why it is that he is so controversial. He is controversial because of his um, anti-Arab stance. I'm using his words. He's a follower of the racist rabbi, Meir Kahane, who was thrown out of Israel's parliament for his views and in the end assassinated. He says that while he is a a follower, a disciple of Rabbi, of Rabbi Meir Kahane, he's changed slightly. He doesn't believe in the deportation of all, of all Arabs from Israel, only Arabs who are opposed to Jews living here, some words like that. He was so radical in his youth that he was not um, even allowed to be part of the Israeli army. He was regarded as too, too wild, I guess, to be in that, that system. And now, of course, he's the man in charge of Israel's national security, its police force and its border police. So it's a huge turn. And people here have been asking, is this the kind of step you take if you are actually concerned about Israel's security? Iris Matkler in Jerusalem. Thanks very much indeed.